Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Kurt McGowan of Console Connect. Kurt, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, Buffy. Yeah, today we're exploring network as a service for data centers, cloud, and edge providers. Um, and Console Connect is definitely a leader in that space. Uh, why should attendees here at Data Cloud in Austin uh, be examining network as a service? That's a good question. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to give a little talk on what we're looking at. So network as a service really gives cloud providers, cloud users, and data centers the opportunity to connect in in so many different ways. So much has become a as a service on demand pieces and the network piece, the connectivity is really the last piece to get there. So in order to manage budgets, manage what you need to do, keep your executives happy, understanding network as a service is a good point to at least have conversation right now. So that's the piece that I think people might be missing. It took years for the major cloud providers to get to the size they are right now. So we are in the infant stage of network as a service. Yeah. And Console Connect is considered a pioneer uh, of network as a service. What makes you stand out? Well, uh, network as a service is needs a network to work on, right. as well as the service pieces on top of it. So we have the ability at Console Connect to be the portal, the service on top of everything that's going on to make your connections. And then we also have a full global network underneath us. So we have the layer, all the low layer communications, all the pieces of a service in place. So we manage it as a carrier. So we aren't okay. the person who needs to go buy more of this or that in order to make things work. And at that point, it becomes much easier to manage the services, turn them up and down within 24 hours, as long as three years. So that really gives us an opportunity to grow and build from that. Um, Console Connect as an entity is probably six or seven years old. And so we've got a lot of history in growing and looking at what has to happen globally. Right. So well, thanks, for, thanks for sharing those insights there. Um, how about some recent news coming out of Console Connect? We've been hearing, you know, different headlines coming out of your headquarters there. So why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about some recent Console Connect news? Certainly. Well, Console Connect continues to grow. We've, uh, especially here in the United States, since we're in Austin, that's uh, my focus. Our DC data center partnerships are growing globally. Uh, as a carrier, we had about 150 pops, points of presence. Now, because of Console Connect globally, we have over 950 points of presence, and we are able to get in the US and North America over 350 points of presence. So we've gone from under 20 to over 300 in the last 18 months because Console Connect can bring services to places you weren't sure you knew you needed services. So that growth has become a, a talking point for a lot of folks. Um, again, with a global backbone and the ability to reach offshore, it gives us a growth of a wide area network on demand. So you can actually build your network without having to order from multiple different people. And all of our partnerships that we're bringing in whether it's from data centers, large data centers, even some small one and two office data centers, it gives us that ability to grow. Um, we also bring, I've mentioned connectivity. The network as a service aspect also includes IP transit, so internet, and um, we can connect into global internet exchanges. Those are a lot of the pieces of puzzle that are out there and people just don't know necessarily that they are actually in the same puzzle. So we've got the border on it, you just need to put your appropriate pieces in and build what's important for you. Uh, it sounds like a sales pitch, it probably is, but that's what I do, so I hope that answers your question. Yeah, well, thank you so much for sharing uh, some of that news coming out of Console Connect and a little bit more information about exactly what Console Connect does and how it's leading the way for a network as a service. Could I add one more thing in just Absolutely, before I, now please. that I've waited until after you've uh, 
wrapped everything up. One feature that we just recently released is being able to connect local loops. So the connection from a data center to an office building in 12 countries, particularly in the U.S., we have several million buildings which you can get to immediately. Once again, saves you from having to go out and get somebody else to do that work for you. Um, so that one just popped into my head. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for it. coming back no, to me. It's definitely a key differentiator and value proposition uh, exactly. for, for many of our friends in the community. So thanks so much for sharing that, Kurt. And thank you for joining us today here at JSA TV uh, in Austin for Data Cloud USA. And thank you viewers for tuning in. Stay curious, stay connected, happy networking. <laughs>